Welcome back everyone. Okay, so in this video, we are ready to start applying the stripper to the Airstream so that way we can remove the clear coat. Um, we've gone around and we've removed most of all of the trim and uh, pieces that we don't want to get in the way. We're gonna start on this side first, the road side, and we're going to start applying the stripper. A lot of the current videos on YouTube right now are suggesting to use the aircraft paint stripper, but that stuff has been banned, I think for since last year or so, because of the chemical that it contained was actually killing people. So you can't find that anymore. It's been banned. It's no longer in stores or available. So the next thing that people were using was this citrus strip right here. Um, and you can get this at Home Depot. And another one that I found that people were using is Ready Strip. Back to nature? Ready Strip Advanced. Neither of them contain methylene chloride, so they're a lot safer, a lot more uh, natural chemicals, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna see which one of these works better, which one of them works faster. Citrus Strip, it removes five layers of dried latex paint in under one hour. The Ready Strip, uh, said it removes up to seven layers and begins working in one hour. So yeah, we're gonna see which one's better. So let's get to painting. I got my uh, partner here ready to help me paint. He's gonna paint on the citrus strip on the right here and I'm gonna paint the ready strip on the left. With the citrus strip, I'm just gonna pour it into this uh, paint tray and we're gonna use a paintbrush to brush it on. So you start on this side, work your way over there, and just start putting it on nice and thick. But remember, just go slow. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to splash anything, okay? Yeah, so we got green fine. versus orange. All right, now with the ready strip, it says right on there, do not apply thin. So you want it to be nice and thick. Good? Yeah, I'm doing good and it's skippy. Okay, so we've used up all of our stripper. Probably got Half of the airstream coated. We've got the roadside all, all the way around to the door. So it's supposed to sit for at least an hour, but we'll probably let it sit for a couple hours just to make sure it really gets in there nice and good. Eats the uh, clear coat off and you know gets this um, latex or this vinyl sticker, this blue stripe off. Um, you can see it's it's starting to change colors. Uh, it's starting to dry and get white. It says once it's really white, you know, most of it is pretty good white. That is probably pretty ready. This is the citrus strip over here. This is the orange one. Same thing. It's starting to turn white. It's been about an hour and a half since we started already, so it could be re get ready to go. But we're gonna give it a couple more hours. Once it's ready to go, we'll hit it with the power washer and get it all off and see see how good it did. <laughs> okay team, so now we've waited about three and a half hours since we put this side on. So we got our plastic scraper here. Very important that you use plastic and not metal because you don't want to scratch your aluminum. Um, so we're just going to give each of these a quick scrape test. Round one, fight! Parker, you want to give the citrus strip a test first and give it a nice scrape. All right. It looks like it's working. It looks like we're getting some bare aluminum, so that's good. Okay, let's let's try this ready strip now. Well, this one's a lot drier than the citrus strip, but from what I can tell, it looks like they're both coming off pretty good. <laughs> 
Looks like we still got some areas of clear coat sticking on here. One thing that's different already that we notice is that the citrus chip is still wet and gooey while the ready strip is actually dry and flaky. So I like that about the ready strip because I don't want to have to deal with the gooey citrus strip, but I don't know how much that'll matter once we actually start washing it off with the power washer instead of scraping it. So as far as the scrape test goes, both the citrus strip and the ready strip seem to be working the same amount. So neither of them seem to be doing anything to the vinyl. So we're gonna have to heat that up and slowly peel that off. Um, I'm not sure if there's clear coat under the vinyl or not, but once we peel that up, I guess we'll see. There's still some splotchy spots that we'll probably have to go back over, but I'm gonna break out the power washer and wash this whole thing off. Like helping take off the silicone. This is not a good spot. So excited! Yeah, this makes our life easier. Me too. Yeah, these guys aren't letting me power wash because they're having too much fun scraping. Wow. How is it? Is it doing good? Is it working? Yeah. Is the green one working better than the orange one? Way more shinier than one than one we started. Yeah, see, they got some clear coat sticking there. We'll have to go back through. Okay, so here's this. You can see the yellow. That was the nasty silicone stuff, uh, or whatever that was. We weren't really sure. How that those pieces are coming right off? Would you look at that? Would you look at it? Just look at it. I gotta say, I think that Citrus Strip is the winner here. Not only did it do a much better job getting the clear coat off, it really hit the silicone really well, um, getting all that gunk off. Way better than the Ready Strip. The Ready Strip barely did anything that I could tell to like all the silicone and other gunk that was around the seams. This stuff was a lot thicker, um, but I hit it with a little bit of Citrus Strip. But I really hit, it was right here pretty bad. And I hit that with citrus strip and it came right off, like just globs of it. So really happy about that. I'm gonna say citrus strip is definitely the winner for that. I'm gonna get a lot of that and just dump it on the silicone that's on the ceiling. And hopefully that really helps get it off. As far as the vinyl goes, neither of them really made an impact that much, which you know, I didn't really think it was going to, but I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. I mean, you can see it kind of penetrated a little bit. Unfortunately, sometimes the only way to take these vinyl stickers off is to get a torch, heat them up, and then peel them off with a, with a blade. You can see right there, you know, we still got bits of clear coats. I hear the clear coats off there. The clear coat is still on. Don't really have too much of that. Um, on the citrus strip side. I think we learned for sure to definitely just glob it on there. Like, we were a little conservative at first. I knew we had to, you know, go thick, but you really wanna go thick. Unfortunately, <laughs> when I bought when I bought him, I kind of bet on ready strip. And so I bought the gallon of the ready strip and I only bought the quart of the citrus strip. So I had more of that. So I used up the whole gallon on the, front of the Airstream. Yeah, I'm good. there's still some stuff we're gonna have to go over, and so I'm gonna get a lot of citrus strip and just really go over it. I wonder if you can tell here, this is actually a really good, really good indicator. So this is what, so the shinier part here is where we actually put the citrus strip on, and then this stuff, we didn't put anything on over here. So you can see, you know, the difference between, here's the plastic coat, 
And here's just the bare aluminum over here. So still a little wet. Still a dull metal, but it looks a lot shinier. Anyway, I'm just super stoked that the citrus strip is really helping take off that silicone because I thought that was going to be a monster job uh, and a pain in the butt to get off. So, All right, fam, so we went back to the store. We got two more gallons of citrus strip. We're going to finish covering this beauty with citrus strip to get the clear coat off and all the silicone and junk and stuff like that. And then we'll be done. We'll be ready to polish it. So one thing I realized with citrus strip is that there's a couple different kinds. They have a spray, they have this stripping gel, and then they have a stripping paste. I think the paste is more like what the ready strip was where it dried and got flaky and stuff. And this never really dried. Um, it still stayed kind of gooey. Um, it did get harder and thicker, uh, which made it actually easier to get off. But when we power washed it, we noticed that it actually washed away a lot better. We also scraped it a lot away a lot better. So I didn't use the citrus strip paste, but we used the gel, so that's the one I'm gonna recommend. Hello, are you ready? Still working on the instrument. My dad's still painting the stripper on it, and I'm still videoing. And do you wanna know here's Trine's name? It's Serenity. Serenity the Stream.